Hi, you're probably already familiar with automatic calf feeding. It saves a lot of work. Now Holm and Lau has presented the new hygiene station and we want to grill them about it. Mr. Holm, why a hygiene station? Are other stations unhygienic? We believe so, yes. The main problem with almost all systems are the hoses in which the milk is transported to the calf. You either have to clean them manually or parts of the hose, mostly the area in front of the teat, are not properly cleaned. And then that happens. A further problem occurs with the automatic machines that use milk stores. Keeping the milk warm at 40 degrees causes the germs contained in the milk to double every 20 minutes. Also, all of the calves are given the same milk. We now know that the calves need a higher powder concentration in the first few weeks. The third problem is hygiene at the teat. When drinking, each calf leaves mucus behind on the teat, and so germs are transmitted from calf to calf. And have you solved all these problems with the new hygiene station? Yes, we have. In the new hygiene station, all of the hoses are cleaned up to the teat after every drinker. It remains completely clean without any manual cleaning. Compare how the hoses in other automatic machines look. And we at Holm and Lauer do not use a milk store that can become contaminated. Please come with me. For every calf, the milk is freshly mixed and is available at the teat after just four seconds. In this way, every calf receives the precise mixture that it needs. And the mixing bowl is cleaned after every calf. And now the teat. We not only rinse the teat after every drinking process, but we also rinse the bowl underneath it, which catches the mucus. and the germ load is reduced by 80%. Okay, understood. I see that the teat points downwards. Should it not be straight? No. Similar to the teat of the mother cow, the teat points downwards. The calf adopts its natural suckling behavior when drinking, and this reduces the risk of ruminal drinking. And the teat offers another surprise. The calves hardly have to be fed manually. As soon as the calf lifts the teat, a small amount of milk flows into its mouth. This triggers the first drinking impulse. While we're here, I'll just show you the teat lighting. This sounds a bit funny, but it's really great. Teat lighting enables the calves to orient themselves better at night. This distributes the drinking processes equally over 24 hours. And this also makes things quieter in the cow shed during the day. Okay, understood. What's it like for maintenance? The teat can be replaced very easily with a quick release fastener and all of the other important components are also marked in yellow and can be reached easily at a convenient working height. All of the parts are well protected and packed in a frost resistant manner and when removing dung the new hygiene station can be tilted forwards by 90 degrees so the entire surface can be cleaned conveniently with a tractor. Okay, I understand. I'm thrilled. Thank you very much for your time, Mr. Holm. You're welcome. Goodbye. Bye.